I know you love any chance we can to, to talk about uh, Senator Thomas Hart Benton. Yeah. So I, I think that I think I, I, I love Thomas Hart Benton because he's uh, an interesting character in the Jacksonian coalition who always, always, he doesn't always get discussed so much or mentioned. There, there was a Rothbard review of a, uh, of a, of a history book um, in the early 60s when Rothbard was criticizing it. And he said, well, they don't even mention Thomas Hart old bully in Benton as if like, this is like, how this Outrage. is a worthless history book. If you don't mention uh, Thomas Hart Benton. And of course he's, he's a great Jacksonian. He's a rugged man like Jackson himself. Uh, he actually previously fought Jackson in a duel and he shot him in the arm. And then uh, they later uh, made, you know, they, 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 they later became great, great, great friends. And Benton was a prominent Senator from Missouri who uh, was a staunch Jacksonian in the upper chamber. So Henry Clay's American system was sort of billed as a way uh, of of allying the North with the West. Okay, so Clay argued that the West was more similar to the North, or the in order to really pass these programs that benefit the North, you had to enlist the West because the South wasn't going to support protective tariffs come hell or high water. So then uh, Clay says, "Well, we're going to have to you know bring it, bring the West into this argument." So Clay was saying, well, protective tariffs, they're going to benefit North. They're also going to benefit some Western industries. But more importantly, uh, they're going to raise revenue that, and this is the key point, combined with high prices of Western lands, right, the revenue that Congress would get from selling land at high prices, both of these things uh, are going to provide enough money to fund internal improvements that will benefit the West. Okay, so this was sort of the agreement Clay was trying to uh, propose to the West. We're saying, look, the American system is actually going to benefit you guys. So Thomas Hart Benton's a Jacksonian from Missouri. Missouri at the time is basically the West. Okay, it's 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 the, it's the frontier of the country more or less in terms of states. And Thomas Hart Benton was a man who was who was promo who, who supported internal improvements. Okay, he was a Westerner. He was, uh, you know, he supported uh, low tariffs. Um, he also was very anti-bank, but that was kind of his one weakness: internal improvements. But starting in the late 1820s, Benton realized that hey, wait a second, this American system actually isn't going to benefit the West because while the protective tariffs. Uh, would fund internal improvements that benefited the West. Uh, he, Clay also needed high uh, prices for Western lands. And this was something that would hurt the West. Benton was staunchly supportive of very low prices for Western lands, basically allowing homesteaders to get them, which is a very Rothbardian position. So what Benton said is, okay, why don't instead of, why don't we try a Southwest alliance? So, I can get the West to support the Southerners' demands for free trade if Southerners support the West's demand for uh, low land prices. And then both of these will be able to block internal improvements. So what Benton is saying is, look, I will give up support for internal improvements if, you, if, if, if Southerners support uh, low land prices. That was sort of his, 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 his agreement, which I think is very interesting. And it's important to look at because usually you make a coalition by saying, look, I'll support your special interest policy. If you support my special interest policy, what Ben was actually doing is look, I'll help you fight your hated special interest policy. If you help us fight our hated special interest policies, they weren't looking to you know, do a quid pro quo regarding special interest policies. They were looking to both, you know, the, the Benton and his supporters were looking to attack uh, special interest policies. So he was pushing for this Southwest Alliance. I think it was a great idea. Unfortunately, the South, particularly the Southeast, including South Carolina and basically the coast, uh, the, the the rest of the 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 you know, the 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 the, the, the uh, this North Carolina, uh, Georgia, Virginia, etc. They were reluctant to lower land prices because they wanted lower land prices to pay off the debt. So uh, they wanted to focus more on protective tariffs. And this was kind of the big stumbling block because without the lower land prices, Benton wasn't going to give up the support for the internal improvements. And so this is something I really wish it worked uh, because um, the Jacksonians did fight internal improvements. Okay. And they also fought um, uh, protective tariffs. They weren't as successful in lowering land prices. 
Okay. Um, and this was kind of a, a stumbling block. It's unfortunate. Nothing's perfect, but they couldn't get to that. I, I give uh, Thomas Hart Benton uh, major props for trying.